All right, so it's Saturday and it is time for a character concept video. I like to start these every start of the weekend, um, just because I feel it's something fun to do uh, to start up the weekend and uh, just get involved with creativity stuff, like I, 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 or creative stuff. So <laughs> it's good. But anyways, we got our first character concept for the video here. We only got two for this time around, but uh, I mean they're gonna be good. Trust me, they're gonna be good. As you can see here, we got Red and Espeon for the first one. So shout out to. I guess please update the rewards Dina <laughs> I like the name I like the name but shout out to this guy for this character concept so let's just get right into it so for the first one we got red and Espeon and they are gonna be a striker uh, psychic type and they're gonna be weak to dark for their stats their HP is gonna be at 534 uh, physical attack stat 263 uh, special defense 240 and God damn, that's a high uh, defense stat for a striker. Holy. <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, and then for the special attack stat, it is 402. And then for the special defense, 240 as well. And the speed 350. Yeah, pretty balanced <laughs> for a striker. That's insane. Um, but I could definitely see Red getting something like this in the future for sure. Because um, Espeon would be a very cool Pokemon to have in Pokemon Masters. And I hope that would happen in the future. Um, get Espeon is one of the Pokemon that Red does have on his team in, uh, I think in the manga? Not in the manga, but, uh, in, I forget where he had it in, uh, but if any of you guys know, leave it down in the comments below, because this is actually going to annoy me. <laughs> I think it's in the manga, but, uh, for his moveset, he has Psychic, Future Sight, Stored Power, and, uh, dot, 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 and I like that, because he doesn't say anything, so, <laughs> I like that move right there, that training move, and, uh, it's 2 MP, um, and it raises the user's uh, evasiveness, critical hit ratio, and special attack. So that's a good one. And then for the sync move, it is more dots. So <laughs> I like that. I like this one a lot. It, it, it suits red completely. Um, and then for uh, for the base power, it is 200 to 240 and has a high chance of getting a critical hit and raises the user's critical hit ratio. So that's very good. Very self sufficient, too. Um, and then for the passive, they have Impervious, Powerful X5, damn, a Powerful X5, okay. Um, and then Lesson Poison 9, so you're basically n not gonna get poisoned or, like, not getting any damage done to you by poison, so that's good. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, definitely an overpowered, uh, Sanker, but, like, it's red. Like, he's, like, the legendary trainer that everyone basically knows. I like this a lot, um, definitely overpowered, high special attack, high defense stat for a striker, high speed, um, I guess the only trade off is the HP is a little bit low, uh, because most strikers typically have like 700 to like 800 HP, um, or 650 to uh, 800, and uh, 500, yeah, that is pretty low, so I guess that's another reason why the defense stat is high, because um, we'll be able to tank it, so uh, having low HP sort of uh, balances everything out. Uh, but overall, like, Red and Espeon, I do like this. And I hope this were to come in the future. Um, no pun intended with Future Sight. <laughs> but um, it is good. Like, the mood set is good. Like, yeah, Psychic, uh, Star Power. Um, and Star Power is, like, the more your stats have been raised, um, the more damage it's going to do. So, I, I mean, I think that I'm not too familiar with uh, third power but I think that's what it is and future sight it is like a turn thing so like after like two or three turns then uh, um, then the attack will take effect so like when you do psychic maybe that same turn um, that you use the psychic um, future sight will also take effect so like let's say you do um, 8,000 damage with uh, future or a psychic um, then future sight comes in and then that's gonna be like maybe another 4,000 damage added for that turn so like the pot like it is crazy what this can actually do and uh, the combo that you could do with uh, Future Sight 2 is crazy, like it's a lot. Maybe the Sync Move effect is kind of useless. Um, a high chance of getting a crit is fine, uh, but then raises the critical hit ratio. Like we do get a uh, critical hit raise increase uh, on uh, on the Trainer Move 2, um, but I don't know if that's like to the max. So if it's not to the max, then after you use your Sync Move, then you're going to be able to have max critical hit rate, which is fine. Um, so if that's the case, then yeah, like getting crit on uh, the safe move is totally fine too. Uh, but overall, like this concept is definitely good, and it's something that could possibly come. Maybe not Power Flex Five on the passive, but uh, maybe something like this could happen in the future as a master fair for Red. And I can see Red being a master fair with Espeon. Like I think that would be uh, very fitting too, uh, because Espeon is a very strong Pokemon, a very uh, strong Psychic type. 
and is probably one of the best evolutions too. I would say along with Umbreon. Um, Espeon is definitely uh, not Espeon. Um, um, Vaporeon is definitely one of the uh, evolutions that I think is very strong too. Uh, but Espeon and Umbreon are definitely one of the top uh, evolutions. So. I don't know, having read with Espeon it, as a Master Fair, I think would be very, very good. And uh, that, that can definitely happen in the future. But let me know what you guys think of this concept. I feel it is something that could possibly come in the future. And uh, I would 100% accept this if uh, if it was a Master Fair as well. Because this is strong. <laughs> I can see something like this being a Master Fair, to be honest, with how strong this actually is. But uh, I do like the names for the trade move and the sync move. Just dot, 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 dot. I like that. <laughs> It's a nice little comedic thing too. And uh, shout out to Delta Dragon. Like he's been in quite a bit of uh, my character concept videos. Because he's done quite a bit of concept. So shout out to Delta Dragon for this concept right here. But uh, this is a long one. So let's just get right into it. So we have Buck and Heatran. And they're going to be a 5 star tech type. And uh, they're going to be weak to ground. And their type is fire and steel. So they're going to be a dual type. So that's cool. Um, their HP is 552, physical attack 342, physical defense 154, special attack 395, special defense 154, and speed is 219, so they're going to be very slow. Um, so they're going to have flash cannon, sunny day, so that's interesting, I do like that, because we do need another sunny day user, so, uh, I mean, this is all character concept, so it's not, like, confirmed or anything, but, uh, but it would be nice to have another sunny day user, and Hee-Chan would actually fill that role nicely. And then we got Magma Storm, and it's a four, it's a four bar move. 157 base power, 75 accuracy, and traps the opponent. And then the trainer move is a Stark Environment, or impro, impro, a Stark Improvement. <laughs> um, raises the user's special attack, um, speed, and critical hit rate. Applies gradual healing to the user. And if the weather is sunny, sharply raises the stats instead. So that's nice. I do like that trainer move. Very good. Um, it's actually balanced too, so I do like everything about it so far. And then for the passive, we have Team Trapper 9. If this sync here inflicts trap on the enemy, um, inflicts trap onto all enemies of field of play. That is very good. That's I like that a lot. That's interesting for sure. And they have Piercing Gaze, so you don't have to worry about Magma Storm missing because it is a 75% uh, accuracy move. Uh, so having Piercing Gaze is going to be very good. And then we have honor roll four, and then for the sync move, uh, new strategy is magma storm. I like the name, and it's a 200 base power move, and doubles uh, damage is doubled if the opponent sync pair is trapped. So if uh, which most likely is going to be 100 percent of the time because of magma storm. Uh, so then instead of 200 base power, it's going to be 400. And then don't forget, it is a tech type, so if it can go to six stars, that's going to be another multiplier added when you get to the six stars, so a 1.5 increase. Very strong, uh, yeah, the damage that Buck and Heatran can do is going to be insane, along with their special attack stat being um, almost 400, it would be over 400 at 20 to 20, so yeah, the damage that they're going to do is insane. Um, and then notable synchro tiles at 1 out of 5, Flash Cannon move Gauge Refresh 3, Flame Proof, Magma Storm move Gauge Refresh, and Sunny Day move, uh, move Gauge Refresh, and uh, ASI MP Refresh 2, and then Fire Guard. Um, and then uh, we have uh, entry, well, for 2 out of 5, uh, we have Magma Storm Move Gauge Refresh 2, Sunny Day MP Refresh 3, and then we got Sentry Entry 2, and then Wise Entry 2, and then Pokey Trap 2. Notable entries for 3 out of 5, Scorching Sync 3, so that's going to be a multiplier for the Sync move, uh, stationary, tar uh, stationary Target 2, and Speeding Sun 2, uh, Entry Freebie, that's good, I like that, and we have Catch Fire 2. And this thing pairs attacking moves have a chance to burn the opponent. Wow, okay. Yeah, uh, Heatran and Puck. Definitely a very strong thing pair concept. Um, and I, I actually would really, really like this to come to the game. Um, mainly because I do really like Heatran. Um, I do have sentimental attachment to Heatran as well. Because when I first played Diamond and Pearl. Um, and then we went to those like islands after the game. Like after we beat the Elite Four. And then exploring that island, going into the cave and everything, and then encountering Heatran at the end of the cave, or at the, the, the bottom of the cave or whatever. Um, that was completely new to me, and I was not expecting to find a legendary Pokemon like that. And, uh, like, that's why, like, Heatran just plays, uh, like, he has a special spot in my heart. Uh, just because, like, it was just so much fun exploring the islands and everything. Because I wasn't really searching up anything on uh, Google, like, how to find certain Pokemon. Like, I was just exploring off of uh, my own knowledge, like, it, going off of uh, routes that I haven't gone before 
and going deep in caves and everything and then I encountered the Heatran so like it, it's a lot of fun and it's more fun exploring the game when you don't have to search up everything because then you get to take in everything on your own and you don't have to worry about searching up everything and it's just a lot more fun that way but but yeah Heatran and Bug definitely interesting for sure um and Delta Dragon um, he always comes up with uh, interesting concepts, and this is another one that he did that, uh, that I'm really, really liking. Um, and this one is, this seems a lot of fun too, especially with the trap and everything, and the magma storm being pretty strong too. Um, and uh, like, the multipliers that he has, like, very, very good for sure. But, um, but yeah, interesting concept. Uh, I do really like it a lot. Um, out of the two that we saw in this video with Buck and Heatran and... Um, Red and, Espe Red and Espeon, they're both very interesting and I do really like them both. Um, but if I were to have to pick one to come to the game, honestly, I'd rather Buck and Heatran come. Uh, just because we don't have Heatran and we don't have Buck. We have Red um, and we are going to be getting another Red in the future, obviously. Uh, because now that they're introducing Master Fairs or Master Sync Fairs, it's obvious that Red is going to get one in the future too. So it's going to be uh, in like, he's going to come, but it's just a matter of time on, uh, on him. But uh, Buck and Heatran, I definitely want to come to the game over this red, to be completely honest. Um, there's nothing wrong with this red, but, um, uh, but I just prefer Buck and Heatran just because it's a synchro that we don't have in the game just uh, right now. So uh, let me know what you guys think of these two concepts. Which one was your favorite out of these two? Um, mine is Buck and Heatran, obviously. I uh, just said it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, definitely interesting for sure. I always like doing these character concepts and, uh, every Saturday I'm going to have a character concept video. Uh, so subscribe for more of these if you want to see more of them. I have a bunch of them on the channel too, if you want to take a look at them. Uh, but, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know which one your favorite was and I'll see you guys on the next one.